Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to the AV Edison Suite Series video number two. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the KRK Rokit 6 Active Studio Monitor. As you can see, the box is sitting off to the side of me here. Let's give you a closer look at one of the boxes and I'll let you know what these are all about. So they come in these really impressive boxes. These are Active Studio Monitors. Let me just pop that out of the way. You can actually see one of them sitting behind me here. And these differ from normal speakers in the fact that they're actually powered. So they have an amplifier in each speaker. And you can buy them either as single monitors or in fact as pairs. Now, they, these particular ones actually offer up 68 watts of output. From the tweeter, you're getting an 18 watt output. And from the lower frequency driver, you're getting 50 watts of output. On the back, we've also got some controls and inputs. Now, the controls and inputs include a HF level adjust, which adjusts the dB gain on the higher frequencies. We've also got a, an overall volume, which we can select from minus 30 dB all the way round to plus 6 dB. And then we've got a collection of outputs on the back as well. Now there's an unbalanced output, which I'm gonna give you a listen to in a moment. And this one, you can actually sort of buy a separate cable to convert this to a three and a half millimeter audio jack plug that into your Mac and use the unbalanced output for a quick and easy setup. Now I'm gonna be taking things one step further in a future video. When I add an audio interface, I'll be switching over to using the balanced inputs. You've got a couple of different balanced inputs here. We've got a TRS input and also an XLR input. And I'm gonna be using those in combination with this audio interface to show you if there's any sound improvement in the audio quality, which I'm certainly hoping there will be. You can get these KRK6s in either white or black. I went for the white because it matches my setup. They're a very imposing speaker, a lot larger than I expected, but certainly do look really nice in position. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually give you a quick audio demonstration connected via that unbalanced input and I'm using a split cable. So it's two RCA uh, phono type cables going into the back of the speakers connected to a three and a half millimeter audio jack and that's going into my MacBook Air. So I'm sure you'll agree that even at this early stage, these Rokit 6 sound absolutely superb. I'm so, so pleased with the audio quality. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. Please make sure you join me again tomorrow for the next video in the AV Editing Suite series.